Okay, this is our Philippine map together with the 17 regions around the Philippines and their total population during the 2010 census of population. Okay, we're going to read the total population of NCR or the National Capital Region. That is 11855975. Do you know how to read that number? If not, that will be our lesson for today. Our lesson for today is all about reading and writing numbers up to 10 million in symbols and in words. But before that, we're going to study first about the place value chart. Okay, we have here periods, place value, value, digits, and of course, the number. Okay, we're going to differentiate number and a digit. When we say number, that is the combination of digits. And digits, that is a single numeral. We have 10 digits in our numeration system. We have 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and 9. There are 10 digits in our numeration system. That These digits, we use this one to make a numbers. Small large, larger, and even a largest number. Okay, when we say largest number, do you know what do we call the largest number around the world? Okay, we call it a Googleplex. This is a math trivia. Googleplex is the largest number around the world. Okay, going back to our topic. Next is we're going to discuss about place value and value. But we're going to discuss first about place value. Okay, when we say place value, that is the exact location of a digit in a number. For example, 8. What is the place value of 8? The place value of 8 is 100,000. Okay, pag sinabi natin place value, palagi yung may S sa dulo. So, how about this 5 here? What is the place value? The place value is thousands. How about this one? What is the place value of one? This is millions. Okay, next is we're going to talk about value. What do you mean by value? When we say value, that is the value of a digit in a number. Okay, for example, five. What is the value of five? Okay, we're going to write five. And gagawin lang natin zero nasa kanan niya. Okay, 9, yung 7, at saka yung 5 ay nagiging 0 sila. Okay, we have 3 zeros. Okay, we read this one as 5,000. So, the value of 5 here is 5,000. How about 8? What is the value of 8? What do you think? What is the value of 8? So, we write 8, then, sabi ko, lahat ng nasa kanan ay gagawin lang natin Zero. Ayan. Ilang zero nagawa natin? Meron tayo? Five. Okay, we read this one as eight hundred thousand. Okay, tatanggalin lang natin yung x. Okay, the value of eight here is eight hundred thousand. Okay, that is place value and value. Okay, ito na yung pinaka-importante. Paano tayo magbabasa ng large number? Okay, first is alamin natin yung kanilang period. Okay, when we say period, that is the grouping of the digits. Okay, i-group lang natin yung digits into three. Tatluhan. One, two, three. We're going to separate that, that one by a comma or a space. Another one, two, three, a comma or a space. Para masiparate natin yung digits, para mabasa natin ang large number. Okay, this a uh, group of digits here, we call this one as units. And another three groups of digits here, we call this one as thousands. Ito yung apelyedo nila. Okay, and this one is millions. Okay. In reading this number, we're going to read this one as if reading one, two, or three digit number. In its uh, period. Okay. So, we read this one as 11. 
By the way, pag nagbabasa tayo, mauna tayo sa kaliwa, papuntang kanan. So, this is 11 million. Okay, dugtong lang natin yung salitang million. Pero hindi natin lalagyan ng S. Kasi pag merong S, that is place value. Okay, this is 11 million. 855,000. And 975, hindi na natin babanggitin ang unit. So, we read this one as, paano natin ito babasahin? This is 11 million. 855,975. Okay, that's the way how we're going to read large number. Again, we're going to group the digits by 3. Then, alamin lang natin kung anong period yun. At babasahin natin as if reading 1, 2, or 3 digit number in each period. Okay, more on practice, how we're going to read and write large numbers. Okay, first is we're going to write the following in standard form. This is a number word. We're going to write this one in symbols. So, this is 9,280,560. Okay, we're going to interpret this one into symbol. 9... 280,000, we're going to write 280, then 560. Okay, 560. Okay, pwede natin siyang ilagay dito sa ating place value chart for the beginners, pero sa mga advanced learners, pwede nyo nang buuin itong number ka agad. Okay, for beginners, you can write 0, 6, and 5. Okay, this is for units. Thousands place natin, ah, uh, we have 0, 8, and 2, and for millions, period is 9. So, that is how we're going to write that number words into symbol. Pwede na natin siyang buuin ng ito. Okay, nagiging 9, 2, 8, 0, 5, 8, 0. Okay, we read this one as 9,280,560. Okay, this is so very easy, right? Okay, another example. Write the following in standard form. 6,007,008. Okay, we're going to write this one first. 6 million, we're going to interpret into number. Okay, we write 6. 7,000. Okay, this is 7. But, we only one digit. As we know that, we're going to group the digits into three. So, we're going to put zero as our placeholder. Okay, in order for us to group the na digits into three. Next here is eight for units. Then again, we're going to write zeros as our, two zeros as our placeholder. So, you can write it here, 8, then 2 zeros, then 7, another 2 zeros, then 6. So, we can write this symbol now. Okay, this is 6, 7,000, 6,007,008. Okay, this is so very easy, right? Okay, this time we're going to write the following numbers in words. Okay, that is our number. We can put that one into our place value chart. Okay, this is 2, 3, 4, 0, 9, 8, and we have 4, 7. So, we read this one. We read this one from left to right. Okay, this is 74 million 890,432. So, in words, our answer is 74 million 892,432. Okay, it is separated with a comma in each period. Okay, that's the way how we're going to write symbol into words. 
Another example. Write the following numbers in words. So first is we're going to write this one into our place value chart. Five, four, we have zero, nine, zero, 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 one. Okay, to read this one is we're going to start from left. This is 10 million, 9,045. So in words, this is 10 million, 9,045. Separated with a comma. Okay, and now it is the time to apply what we learned. Okay, we're going to answer our math challenge problem. I am a seven-digit number. My millions digit is twice my ones digit. My tens digit is three more than my millions digit. My thousands digit is two less than my tens digit. If my ones digit is three and the rest of the digits is zero, what number am I? So we're going to interpret this one sentence by sentence. I am a seven digit number. This is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So this is not included. Okay, next is my millions digit is twice my ones digit. Okay, this is the millions twice to ones digit. Okay, this is times two. Next is my tens digit is three more than my millions digit. Okay, tens digit. This is our tens digit, three more than in our millions digit. Okay, this is plus three. Okay, next is my thousands digit is two less than my tens digit. Okay, this is our thousands digit, two less than our tens digit. Okay, this is minus two. So, it said here that if my ones digit is three, we're going to write three here, and the rest of the of the digits is zero. What number am I? So we're going to uh, solve. Okay, ones digit is three times two to our millions. This is equal to six. Then six plus three to our tens digit that is equal to nine. Nine minus two to our thousands digit. This is equal to seven. And it is said that the rest of the digits is zero okay we're going to write zero here and another zeros two zeros so if we're going to read and write that number okay what is our answer our answer is six million seven thousand ninety three okay this is the way how we're going to solve this problem